Ideon Technologies is based in Richmond, BC, and they just closed a Series A funding round. This is going to expand the company's production capacity and speed up commercialization of its discoveries. They, the company says its work is helping to transform the minerals business. We are joined by the co-founder and CEO of Ideon, Gary Agnew. Gary, thanks very much. It's great to talk to you. Your work involves cosmic rays. Can you tell us how you are using this natural phenomenon to help look for minerals and metals way below the Earth? Yeah, of course, Andrew. So nice to see you again. Uh, yeah, we're using the energy from supernova explosions in space and in the form of cosmic rays. They arrive at the Earth's surface, traveling in straight lines at almost the speed of light, and penetrate the Earth. Uh, what we've figured out the ability to do is measure muon intensity and directionality underneath the Earth's surface. And from that, we provide our clients with 2D and 3D imaging of density anomalies in the subsurface. So for our mining customers, they're using that to uh, discover and delineate critical mineral resources to fuel the energy transition. How do you track the path of the particle a kilometer below the Earth? Yeah, we have uh, miniaturized our, our sensors. Uh, we've reduced the size of them 50x uh, so that they fit in an industry standard drill hole. So if you imagine the diameter of your coffee cup, Andrew, mm -hmm. uh, that's the diameter of our device. And so we deploy our detectors down a borehole in a daisy chain configuration. And then we leave them there detecting muons until we're able to produce those 2D and 3D images. Do you measure the muons at the surface and then a kilometer down? Uh, no, we don't. Um, our detectors work um, without that kind of um, uh, correction measurement, if you will, at the surface. And so uh, we know they travel in straight lines. We've got a lot of data in terms of how much muon intensity we should okay. expect given different density characteristics. And so we use that information uh, to really inform the 3D models we provide our clients. Some of these things, these particles have been traveling for billions of years, I suppose. <laughs> In, indeed, it's um, you know, mining is a forty thousand uh, year old industry, and so using uh, particles that have been around for millions of years uh, is uh, is quite a novel approach to solving one of the uh, ultimately one of the oldest problems on Earth. You raised sixty million dollars US not so long ago. Uh, can you tell us who's backing you? Yeah, we're very proud to uh, bring Playground Global uh, to the Ideon team, um, one of Silicon Valley's leading science-based technology companies. And really what we were impressed with with Playground is they have a tremendous back office infrastructure that can really help us scale the business quickly to be able to meet the demands that we're seeing from our clients. And so, yeah, a very exciting moment uh, for the business to really have the capital now to put our foot down and, and be able to respond to the, the needs and opportunities in the market. How would how do, currently how does the mining industry look for deposits that are that far down? Yeah, really important question. It really is a, a hit and miss, needle in a haystack type approach, Andrew. Um, drilling is the predominant technology used today. That's a 150 year old technology, and the world's going to invest in 150 million meters of drilling this year. So we think opportunity to do that in a more cost-effective way, a more environmentally friendly way, and a way that provides the mining companies with greater certainty to make uh, investments in, in projects. It's interesting. They've been working on this since the 1950s. I mean, the idea, is, the idea itself is not that new. Yeah, the technology in muon tomography has, as you say, been around since the 50s. Um, what we've really done over the last decade is take that uh, scientific level research and turn it into industrial uh, pro products and, and problems solved. And we've been very, very um, fortunate to benefit from the Canadian tech ecosystem. Um, really has been a, a huge help over the last decade as our company has taken kind of the fundamental research and turned it into a solution for the market. And the digital Supercluster is one of the uh, partners that we've worked with in recent years to really help us bring together academia, industry, the tech ecosystem, and really put Canada on the map for, for world-leading uh, technologies for the mining industry. I see they've, they found um, a, 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 a hole, a void within the second of the Great Pyramids, the second biggest of the Great Pyramids using this technology. But let's not talk about pyramids. Uh, uh, we don't want to go down a rabbit hole there. But um, tell us, how does it work? I mean, if the muon travels in a straight line, but a, a mineral or a void will minutely alter its trajectory? 
Yeah, almost. Um, the muons travel in, in straight lines, um, and and as they go through dense material, they lose energy and ultimately decay quickly. Okay. And so when we see high intensity of muons in a particular direction above our detector, we know there is low density material in that direction. And then when we see low intensity of muons, we know there is a high density anomaly in that direction. So that's what really what gives us a 3D mapping capability.